All right, so you want to know how to make Megalodon's medallion and boss in creative mode from Chapter 5, Season 3. Um, so I'm going to show you a simple way to do it. I'm actually going to show you two ways to do it, and you can decide which one is better for what you're doing. Uh, so first, I'm going to start by demonstrating exactly how it works. All right, so first I'm going to demonstrate this one method, which as you can see, I have the boss here. Kill him. I get a shotgun, and then I pick up the medallion, and now... I am moving uh, pretty slightly faster, uh, so you get a little bit of a, a movement buff from that one. Um, and then the other method, you come over here and kill this guy, pick up his medallion, and now you actually are getting Nitro Splash. So this, like, exactly replicates you know, always having the Nitro Splash effect. You just always have to put it on yourself. And now you can see my inventory is full. It stops giving them to me so that I, I'm not like spilling Nitro Splashes all over the place. But I will have infinite Nitro Splashes and I can always throw them on my friends. Um, so you can either, the problem is the other method won't allow you to run on water um, or any of the other benefits from a Nitro Splash. Uh, so this is the only way you can get the real effect. So first, I'm going to show you how to do the one where you just get a speed boost, and then after that, I'll show um, you actually getting granted Nitro Splashes. So to start off here, I'm going to start with the, uh, the Guard Spawner and the Item Spawner, because they are going to be the same for both methods. So, Guard Spawner, uh, these are the settings I've changed. You can slow down the video if you want. Honestly, most of these don't really matter. Um, just uh, set it to exactly how you want. Um, and then... Going to have it... Uh, oh, it's glitching out. Yeah, there we go. Disable when the this guard spawner is eliminated. That's how I make it so that there's only one guard. Is that when you eliminate the guard, it disables the spawner. Uh, and then it'll drop the shotgun. You just grab the shotgun from the inventory and drop that in. And then you get an item spawner. And these are the settings I've changed. Only five. Um, so just set that up the way it is. And then um, you're going to make it so that here, spawn item when the guard is eliminated. So that is it. Very simple for the guard. And like I said, this works exactly how it does over there. Um, so I'm not going to show this again for the second method. Uh, the other thing that is exactly the same is going to be the player marker. This is how you can see the medallions on the map. And this is just attached to player when the item spawner is picked up. That is very simple. And then these are the settings for it. Um, a few of these you can change, like color and uh, the icon and stuff. And the, the class doesn't matter as well. The class is going to be up to you. All right, so then the last two devices, we're already almost done with this, is going to be the class selector. And you're just going to have to change these settings. So whatever class you want, and then um, all of this. This is just to make it so that it's not going to accidentally get tripped. And then the class designer, pretty easy. Um... Just the class identifier needs to match the other one, which also needs to match with the um, player marker, which I did change. It was 69 before, and now I have it set to 15, so that's all uniform. And then the movement multiplier I just have set to 1.5. Um, so simple enough. Uh, I don't know the exact boost of Nitro Splash. I just thought that that seemed pretty similar when I was testing it out. Um, so that's what I've gone with. And that is it for method number one. So now I'll move over here and I'm not going to show you again the, uh, the boss, the spawner, or the player marker. So we only have one device to go over for this, which is the item granter. Now this is quite a bit of settings. Um, pretty much all that these settings do, if you replicate them, is it's going to make it so that whenever there's space in the player's inventory, it'll get, it'll grant them a nitro splash and if the inventory is full it will not so simple enough and then I have it so that um, enable and grant item when receiving from the item spawner that we have here 
And I don't think I actually said it for this one, but um, the class selector, you've got to make it so that uh, change player to class when receiving from the item spotter. That's my bad. Forgot to put that in there. Um, but that is actually it. So that is both of the methods. You can choose either one, uh, whichever you think feels more like how it is in game. And that's it for today's video. Um, I would like to say, though, before you go, I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. I know it, it seems like it could be a stretch, but with your help, it won't be. Because, like, 90% of people that wa watch these videos are not subscribed. So if I could get those people to subscribe, I could easily get to 1,000 by the summer. So please help me out uh, and hit the button below. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. You can use code GRAVYMAN in the item shop to support me. Uh, buying the new Lethal Company skin or anything like that. Um, I should come up with a catchphrase, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.